Welcome to the Settlers of Catan installation manual. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install and extract our program. Once, Once you, have you have downloaded, downloaded the TAR, tar file, file, you should, should navigate, navigate to where you have downloaded it, which, which I have already done here. here. Then, then right click, click on the file and extract, extract using the extraction software of your choice. And then, and then it should, should create, create a folder for you to use. use. Now, now double, double click, click on this folder. And then double click on the source folder. folder. And then, then now you should be able to run the cute project files for both the client and the server. After downloading and extracting the project file, if you want to run the project using a make file, Open up a terminal window, as I have here, and then navigate to the folder where you have downloaded to using the cd command. Now that we are in the project folder, use list source to view the folder, and then cd to the bin folder. And now, list source again, and cd to the Catan client folder. List source again, and you will see that there's a make file folder, and then using the command make dash j4, we should be able to generate the executable for the, for the client project. To do something similar for the server, instead of being in the client folder in the bin, cd to the Catan server folder and run make j4 to get the server executable. In order to run our program, you must first open Qt Creator. If you are running on Windows, then first click on the Start button. You can either search for the program here, or if you already have it available in your recent programs, then you can click on it there. And then Qt Creator should pop up. If you are running on Linux, then in the terminal you can type Qt Creator with an ampersand at the end and hit enter. It takes a while for it to load and then Qt Creator should appear. Now with Qt Creator running you should now be able to open the file and so using the hotkeys click Control O to open an open file dialog box and then navigate to where the project is saved and in the source folder click on the Catan server file and it should be a cute project file and then click the open button and now you should have the Catan server open on Qt Creator to open the Catan client file, do the same steps. Control O, and then click on the Catan client file, which should also be a cute project file type, and click the open button. And so as you can see in the project navigate menu, you can see that both files are open. And now with the Catan server and the client projects open on in Qt Creator, you can now run the program. So clicking on this computer icon in the lower left hand side, switch to the Catan server. If you already have the Catan server running, then you do not need to do this step. And now, underneath the computer icon, click on the green play button to build the project. 
and a console window should pop up for the server. Now to run the client, again click on the computer icon and then select the client project and then again click on the green play button and then the client window should pop up.